At least 52 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces and more than 2,300 others were injured in the Gaza Strip on Monday. As hundreds of thousands of armless demonstrators gathered at the border fence which separates Gaza from Israel, ahead of the opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. ورح ندخل ان كان في مقلاع ولا ان كان في شداده ولا ان كان في كوشك ولا كان في غيره ورغم انه حيصير اصابات وحيصير شهداء فمش راح مش راح نهدى ولا راح نسكت ان شاء الله According to the Palestinian Health Ministry six of the slain Palestinians were minors under the age of 18 including one girl while tens of Palestinian medics and journalists were among the thousands of injured This huge crowd came in uh, in answer to the move of the United States administration to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which means that the administration recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And this crowd sends a rejection message to all the world that it, the Palestinian people will never accept that at all, and they have to, uh, to, to, to receive this message. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinian people are heading to the border line between Gaza and Israel in order to participate in the Great March of Return. Uh, since yesterday, and the mosques here in the Gaza Strip has been uh, through the speakers calling and encouraging the people to head to the border line between Gaza and Israel to demand for their right of return and also to show their rejection of the latest U.S. decision of recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to move the U.S. embassy from from Tel Aviv to uh, Jerusalem. The Palestinian factions from their side, Hamas, PLF, PDLF, Islamic Jihad, have been asking uh, their supporters to also join the uh, protests. Hamas from their side, they said in a statement that the um, borders of Israel are not internationally recognized, therefore they should not be respected. So. The people here in Gaza tried to cross the border fence and in some areas they succeeded to cut the border fence and to enter the Palestinian occupied territories which is now called Israel. The Israeli side responded by firing tear gas canisters and also live and rubber bullets. Protesters demonstrated against the opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem on Monday and ahead of May 15, the 70th anniversary of the Palestinian Nakba when over 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from their homelands with the creation of the State of Israel. On behalf of the 45th President of the United States on America, we welcome you officially and for the first time to the Embassy of the United States here in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Thank you. Noor Harazin for the Real News, Gaza.